John here guys and today we are talking about the Mobula 6 and I'm a little bit late to the party uh, I think my review copy when it shipped everyone had already bought these but in case you're one of the ones that's still on the fence about what whoop to get this season uh, spoiler alert this is the best one that we have seen in quite some time uh, it is exceptional in many, many, many ways. And I can't believe that could the best whoop of the year actually be going to Happy Model? I mean, Happy Model, we've talked about on this channel, has been really one of the worst things about FPV as a hobby in general. They put out terrible after terrible model. You strike me as a particularly icy and remorseless man, Mr. Dufresne. It chills my blood just to look at you. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Over and over again, but they consistently managed to get two things right. One, they were always very competitively priced. This is no exception. This comes in at about 85 bucks as it sits, and you actually get a lot in the box. Two, they always... Uh, were able to put exceptional tunes. That's what made them so popular is because they flew so well out of the box. Now, this one has a lot, a lot in spades, but what was particularly irritating about the previous releases was that there was always something wrong with how it shipped. The Mobula 7 was plagued by horrible frames that would just shatter and crack if you even breathed on them. Uh, the Mobula HD suffered from boards that were frying left and right, and there's been other instances of releases like that over the years. But one thing that I have noted is they've consistently got a little bit better, a little bit better. Remember the Larva X? That was actually a little bit better. The Larva X HD that I just put out a video on, I could basically find almost no fault with it. And this is finally the pinnacle of Happy Models achievements. Now it's not without flaw. Uh, according to a lot of the feedback they were getting from the community, but I must be one of the lucky ones because I got one. Um, they did note that the Runcam Nano 3, that this is one of the first Whoop products that ships with this new outstanding camera. The image is quite good. It's very, very small and lightweight. That allows this to be approximately 18 to 19 grams. Exceptionally light for a modern day Whoop. It ships with, let's just go through the whole build. This thing is a 65 millimeter frame Whoop. Now this frame, I have put it through the paces. I have crashed it into a chandelier about 20 feet or at least 18 feet above the ground, falling onto tile. And this thing is unmarred. I've crashed it so many times, I can't break it. Uh, the, the pod itself, I did hear a lot of complaints about that, but I haven't managed to crack it or break it. And if you did, you could always, those are plentiful and the pattern is the same. So you could swap with anyone. A replacement of this is only three bucks. Uh, it has Happy Models new board that is a single board that has your FR Sky SPR receiver installed already. It also has an integrated VTX, that's right, an integrated video transmitter with its own plug for your camera. So if you had to build one of these, I would probably go with this board after flying it so much because there's essentially no soldering. All of the four motors plug into these plugs. The camera, whichever camera you choose to go with, I think I would stick with this Runcam Nano 3 if I were to build my own custom whoop. It just plugs in, so there's nothing to it. It has this nice little pigtail with the solid post that gives you a little bit of extra power. It has these 80802 25,000 kV motors. Now, my first instinct was that going to be way too high, but I did not find that to be the case. I found myself getting three to four minute flights. Uh, if I was pushing it hard, I would imagine I could still easily get two to two and a half minutes in a race scenario. It ships with 
these gym fan props, these are some of the most popular props by my Whoop Racing brethren that gather every Tuesday night. Hopefully, now that I have this, I can join them. And uh, it's just everything you want. When you open up the box, what do you see? You see that you have four, that's right, four batteries. You have a little one at a time charger. You have a little packet of extras, including a full set of these extra gym fan props. You have a prop removal tool, a little screwdriver, some extra screws, in case you lose any of those ever working on it. And Happy Metal's actually always been pretty good about these instructions. They're very clearly labeled on how to buy and how to change channels, how to do all that stuff. Um, so good on them for that. Um, they have been good at that for a while. So has Happy Model finally come into their own? This is their first product that I think I can pretty much fully endorse. Now there are some caveats to that. One of them being uh, a lot of people reporting wobbly footage. Uh, I have not had that issue, but I have one of the more recent ones. It comes with a piece of foam placed underneath the camera. So if you don't have this model, just get yourself a small little piece of foam, put it in there. That keeps the camera from bouncing up and down. Um, I noticed that mine shift with a pretty high camera angle, but it has an adjustable camera mount in there. So you just loosen the two screws, adjust it a little bit flatter. Um, Man, this thing has so much power, even on one S, on one cell battery. This thing has the power. And if you notice how I flew it around the house, it flies almost, I don't want to say it flies like a five inch, but one of the characteristics it shares with a five inch is that you can mash the throttle, send it coasting across, you know, your living room, um, and then let off of the throttle and that momentum just keeps pushing it. So you can really, and that really, what does that do? That gives you the ability to adjust so you can send it coasting along, turn around and then make a new maneuver going back the other way. So this would be excellent for racing. So out of the two popular whoops this year, the Beta FPV Meteor 65 or the Mobula 6, I have to recommend the Mobula 6. This did have the new technology of this new camera connector, but I didn't find it to help much. The motors on this are actually a slightly lower KV, but the power lasts less time. I was getting almost double, maybe more than double the flight time with this thing right here. Um, so can't recommend this. A lot of people do like this though. So I would recommend putting the JESC on both of these. I did not put that on there. I flew it out of the box. So I could expect flight times to increase even further once I do that. So if you're looking for a whoop and you don't have one, if you're looking to add to your whoop collection, this is my recommendation, guys. The Mobula 6. You also really can't go wrong with the Tiny Hawk 2. I actually, even though it's a little bit bigger, I actually found the Tiny Hawk 2 slightly easier to maneuver in tight spaces. But I think this thing is so much power and so light um, that I found myself putting on a pretty good throttle cut. And a lot of these videos that I'm gonna show you guys, I have the throttle cut down to 85%. I think I might even cut it down to 75 just to even take a little bit extra of that boost on it. And one of the other things I did to make it a little more maneuverable was I slapped on one of the Tiny Hawk 2 batteries, which is a 450 compared to the 300 it comes with. That little bit of extra weight gives you an ability to make it just a little bit slower to give you a little bit more control. So this is 85 bucks. This is 110. This one's 110. I would go through one of these. I, the camera on both are great. The durability of both is great. This one's just a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper and you can spend that extra money. Some people are taking the one and a half gram hit and installing Crossfire on this. Some people are spending that extra money to get extra batteries. It already comes with two sets of props and this one, even though it's $25 more, comes with a prop, set of props that are basically almost unusable. They fall off so easily. You can see I'm already missing two. I haven't lost any props here, and it's so well protected. Uh, finally, happy model. Maybe they're turning it around, guys.